Hey guys! Well, the garage renos are almost done now, and I think it's about time we get back to working on the exoskeleton. So I've got all the parts together, and uh, let me tell you about some of my plans. So what we're going to start with is a more lightweight exoskeleton. It's going to be kind of more like the Elysium exoskeleton, crossed with the exoskeleton you see in Call of Duty. So I'm going to focus on making the exoskeleton kind of like a, a modular design, which means there will be articles of clothing like the boot, the helmet, and the vest, which you have to put on, which then link to the exoskeleton. It's going to be a lot more lightweight. We're going to utilize the pneumatic muscles I showed you guys a while ago, as well as some cylinders for more of the, uh, the strength aspects. But what I really like about this is it's actually going to have a real exoskeleton, the real definition of exoskeleton. It's going to have locking limbs and joints, which means, hypothetically, you can go into a position and you can hold a really heavy weight without any of that weight being transmitted to your own body. So I've just brought some of the stuff out here and I'm really, I'm really going to try and do one update a week, even if it's just a short little vlog explaining this is what I'm working on with the exoskeleton. But I know you guys really want more updates, so I'm going to do my best to do that. So some of the first stuff we're going to start with is we're going to make a modular air pack. So that's going to make use of the air tank I got and the 12 volt air compressor and eventually the scuba diving tank with the high pressure regulator. In addition to that, I got that helmet I told you guys about in the Predator Vision video and I'm happy to announce um, Meta Glasses is sending me a pair of their development glasses which are augmented reality goggles with transparent LCDs. In other words, perfect for a heads up display in the helmet. So some really exciting stuff coming there. Um, some of the other stuff I have. I got some really um, heavy duty work boots. These have steel soles, steel toes, and uh, they call it ballistic nylon. I know it's not actually bulletproof, but they're pretty well built. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to mount some steel plates on the bottom for that modular design. So basically you'll put these boots on and then the boots will be able to lock into the exoskeleton. Well, that's the update for this week. See you guys next week when we start building this.